Let's find the distance between points 2, 5, and 5, 1. We're going to start this one with a graph, and I'm going to show you a technique that's going to make this problem a little bit easier. I've plotted the two points, and this is the distance that we want to find. First, I'm going to draw this line right here, and then this one right here, and I make a triangle, and this triangle is a right triangle, so we can use Pythagorean theorem. We just need to figure out the lengths here. This side is one, two, three, four units. And I could have also figured that out by doing a little bit of subtraction. I know the top number here is five and the bottom one right here is one because these are the Y coordinates. And so five minus one is four. Now this length, one, two, three, is obviously three boxes. All right, let's set up our Pythagorean theorem. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. You may have seen it written differently. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We are going to solve for C squared first by popping in these numbers. So we have three squared plus four squared. C squared equals nine plus 16 c squared equals 25 and now we need to do the square root on both sides to solve for that and the reason i think i'm calling this an easy problem is because what you're going to get is a whole number which sometimes you don't do that when you're doing square roots now in algebra class we would say that this answer is plus or minus five but in geometry or in any kind of a context where you are finding a length the negative is not going to make sense here so we're going to just say that c equals five this problem is going to be a little bit harder, but not in how we do it, in, in how the answer comes out. Okay, we're going to do this the way we did the last one, by making a triangle. And this is the change in our x horizontal change. This is the change in the y up and down changes. This is obviously two boxes, but we also need to be able to do that for math sometimes. So if I look at the y coordinates, this is a negative three. No, I'm sorry. It's over here. <laughs> this is a positive three. And this is a positive one. Three minus one obviously equals two. The horizontal change is going to be a little bit different because we are back here in quadrant two where we have negative numbers. So this point is at negative four for an x coordinate. And this point is at negative one for the x coordinate. If we do the subtraction, we get negative four minus a negative one. And if you remember, double negatives change into positives. So this is gonna turn into a negative four plus one. And remember from working with integers that negative is bigger than this positive. So that cancels out one of the units and we end up with a negative three. So in a, just a general math problem, this is a negative three, but because we are working with a triangle, we want to know the number of boxes, three, one, two, three. Positive is the number you would work with here. All right, now we pull out our Pythagorean theorem again, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. C squared equals nine plus four. So C squared equals 13. We do need to do that square root again. And in this case, C equals the square root of 13. If this can be broken down and simplified, you have to do that. In this case, it cannot. I have another video, I'll link it, where you can see how to break down square roots. But this one doesn't break down because 13 is a prime number, nothing is gonna change. You also don't want to change these to decimals unless you're asked to do that. Let me show you why. Let me pull up the calculator. Okay, so we're gonna do square root of 13. And we use this button. And you get this really long decimal that's just going to keep going forever. So no matter how you decide to write this down, you have to stop writing at some point. So you're losing precision. So we say that the most accurate answer is the square root of 13. And I know students don't think that feels very accurate, that this feels like it's pretty accurate. And I understand that. But in math class, we don't go to the extra step. You don't have to stop here. It's just, it's just more work you don't have to do unless they ask you to do it. 
All right, and this is going to be the hardest one we do today because of the, again, not because of how we're doing it, but because of the formatting of the answer. We'll go through as quickly as we can. I'm pretty sure you are down with the strategy of making the triangle now, just in case you're not, you get to watch. This is obviously one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven. I'm not going to do the arithmetic with the numbers this time. You've seen that already. You know how that works. So let's go into our Pythagorean theorem. C squared equals A squared plus B squared, seven squared plus one squared. So C squared equals, well, seven squared is seven times seven, that's 49. One squared is one times one, that's one. So C squared equals 50. Now we take the square root on both sides and we are left with the square root of 50. And if you put that down as an answer, you're gonna get that wrong. So we need to figure out if we can break this down. We're gonna make a prime factor tree. 50 is 25 times two and 25 is five times five. So the square root of 50 is really five times five times two. And anything that appears in here twice can come out. So we end up with our final answer of, I'm gonna put it over here, C equals five square root of two. Now that we've done a few, you might be thinking, isn't the Pythagorean theorem and the distance formula basically the same thing? And you would be right. So let's take a look at this. The hypotenuse in geometry class is the same as the length between two points in algebra class. There is your A, which is the same as the change in the X value. There is your B, which is the same as the change in the Y value. Although I will say that in geometry, these two numbers, you know, you can interchange those in the formula. But just to make this comparison, I wanted you to see that. Now, when we start to do the math, we'll use the Pythagorean theorem in the geometry class, which and over here, if you just make a substitution, instead of C, you put D. Instead of A, you put the change in the X values. Instead of B, you put the change in the Y values. Yeah, I know this thing looks a little more complicated over here on the algebra side, but it is the same thing. You're still talking about lengths of a triangle. Then you take the square root of both sides for the Pythagorean theorem. It changes from C squared to C, and the square root of the quantity is the square root of the quantity a squared plus b squared. On this side, you're doing the exact same thing. Take the square root of both sides and boom, there is the distance formula that they expect you to memorize. But people don't remember it, so this is why I wanted to show you this hack where you just use Pythagorean theorem instead because it is the same thing. Cool, huh?